Hey guys, it's Lara. Um, this is my week 54 weigh-in. Uh, this week was not perfect, um, but it wasn't my worst week either. Um, coming off of losing just about 7 pounds last Friday, there was the saboteur in me, you know, um, whenever I get really either really close to a goal or whenever I do really, really good, then I want to just celebrate it and just eat everything bad, you know. Um, but anyways, I didn't really go off that bad. Uh, Saturday night, my husband and I went out for dinner. We went out for like a date night and we went to a pub that's like really close to our place here. Um, and it was awesome. It was like so nice. It's like a very Canadian little bar and it's like very Canucky. Canucky. I don't know if that's a word. Anyways. Um, and we really enjoyed it. Um, had a few beers and we split the appetizer platter so you know not the best food choices or whatever but we don't eat out all the time so it's not it's not one of my if I ate out more often it would be one of my more things where I would like be like I need to make better choices when I eat out but we don't eat out very often so it's not really been a huge um, thing that's been holding me back so I enjoyed myself I have no guilty feelings about what I ate there that night, so, um, yeah, that was Saturday night, and then the rest of this week, I've felt, like, since Monday or so, Monday or Tuesday, since Tuesday, I felt really, um, like, pukey, like, nauseous, uh, I've had a bit of a sore throat in the mornings when I wake up, my throat's been sore, um, and I've been very tired, um, like just exhausted. Like this morning I feel better than I have for the last couple mornings, but like yesterday morning I was just wiped, and the morning before that too, and Tuesday morning, like all day I'm just like exhausted, just wiped right out. Um, yesterday I was feeling like I was getting like cramps in my stomach, like, um, uh, like flu cramps, you know when you get this the stomach flu and your stomach kind of cramps and it like hurts. Um, that's what I was having yesterday. This morning, fingers crossed, I feel okay. Um, so maybe whatever it was has passed, but that's been my week this week. I've felt crappy all week. Um, I only worked out three times, but I am going to work out today. Um, so that'll be four and then I'll probably go for a run tomorrow too because I haven't run at all this week. So it'll be five workouts this week, so it's fine. Um, and, oh, what else? Yeah, yesterday I ended up binging. Like, I had a pretty big binge yesterday afternoon. It's just, I've been fighting it off since I've been feeling so sick. When I feel really nauseous, pukey, sick, tired, I really want to eat. Um, usually when I'm feeling nauseous, if I eat a lot of, like, carbs... Um, I feel better. So I've been pushing that off. And then yesterday, I, I just gave in to all the urges. Um, which really sucked, especially because it was the day before weigh-in. So, last week I lost just about 7 pounds. I think even if I would have done perfect this week, I think I would have done good to lose, you know, probably even less than a pound, you know, within a pound. Um, coming off of a just well seven pound loss, I think it's like hard to follow that up with another loss. Um, but anyways, I weighed in this morning at 149.0, so that's a gain of 1.6 from last week. Um, I'm fine with that, especially considering my binge yesterday, um, and the fact that I lost just about seven pounds last week, and I'm still in the 140s, so that's good. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to this weekend. I'm just going to really be focused and I'm not going to treat it like a weekend. I even like, I told my husband that I said this weekend, I'm going to eat like it's weekdays. Um, because my weekends are usually pretty bad. It's usually when I allow myself treats and stuff like that. But this weekend, I want to give myself a whole week of doing the best that I can do and see how much I can lose, you know, um, so that's my mission for this week. Um, and then next Sunday, Thanksgiving weekend, which is next weekend, 
Um, I have my 5K race next Sunday morning. Um, so after that, um, I'm going to start Insanity again. Um, I'm going to completely commit to it like I did with P90X. I didn't... Last time I did Insanity, you know, I started it like a week before we went out of town. And so I right off the bat missed a couple workouts and um, all those sorts of things. So I didn't fully commit to it like I did with P90X. So next Sunday I want to start Insanity again and I'm going to commit to it um, completely like I did with P90X. So I'm excited for that. Um, so that'll be the Sunday... That I have my race on, I will do the fit test on. That will be like my insanity day one. Um, and yeah, I really, in those 60 days, I want to just eat really well for all 60 days and do all my workouts in those 60 days and just get like the best results that I can get. I'm within 20 pounds of my goal. Um, my ultimate goal, it may be a little bit further. I've said this a lot. I've never been to my goal weight, so I don't know what it is. But I've been saying it's 130. Um, you know, maybe 120, whatever. Anyways, 130. Saying that's my goal, I'm within 20 pounds of it. I realized I could be there easily in like three or four months. And if I do Insanity for 60 days and fully 100% commit to it, I'll be really close. Um, even after 60 days. So that's very motivating and very exciting. So... Um, yeah, so that's my plan for the next couple weeks, and, uh, I got my hair all chopped off, see, just like I promised you guys last week, um, honestly, it's a little, like, I wanted it this short, I told her I cut it this short, um, but I don't like it as much as I thought I would, but now I know, I've never had my hair this short before, so I didn't know, um, I think my favorite length is going to, like, about, where it's, whoa, what am I doing here? What's this finger doing? Where, where, where? About right there. Where, where? This is confusing because it's like a mirror reflection. Okay. Um, yeah, like right here I think is, like, my favorite length. About there, just past my shoulders. So it'll get there, it'll grow to that length. But last year when I got my hair cut, um, I got it cut to that length, and it was so much fun to do. I, I would style it every day because it was so much fun. This is, like, kind of hard to work with, and I shower, brush it, and let it air dry, and honestly, it looks the same as if I blow dry it because it's, like, too short for me to work with. I don't know. Um, so today I just scrunched it with some mousse and some hair gel, um, and it'll grow, and then I'll get to my favorite length where I really like doing stuff with it, so... Oh, I got a sudden pain in my tooth. Weird. Oh, sorry, guys. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm still feeling pretty tired today. Oh, I hate not feeling well. Anyways, um, so, yeah, I hope you like my hair. It's okay. My husband really likes it, but I'm like, it's not very fun with this one. So that kind of sucks. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. Oh, I'm tired. Okay, anyways, um, I will see you guys later. I hope everybody had a really great week this week. And I think I'm going to make a video oh, sorry. on October 1st um, setting goals for the month of October. I'm going to do that. I, I don't normally do the monthly goal thing. Um... But yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to watch for that on October 1st. I'm going to make a video setting myself some October goals. So that should be fun. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching.